Mechanical engineering is the discipline that applies the principles of engineering, physics, and material science for the design, analysis, manufacturing, and maintenance of mechanical systems. It is the branch of engineering that involves the design, production, and operation of machinery. It is one of the oldest and broadest of the engineering disciplines. The engineering field requires an understanding of core concepts including mechanics, kinematics, thermodynamics, material science, structural analysis, and electricity. Mechanical engineers use these core principles along with tools like computer-aided design and product life cycle management to design and analyze manufacturing plants, industrial equipment and machinery, heating and cooling systems, transport systems, aircraft, watercraft, robotics, medical devices, weapons, and others. Mechanical engineering emerged as a field during the Industrial Revolution in Europe in the 18th century, however, its development can be traced back several thousand years around the world. Mechanical engineering science emerged in the 19th century as a result of developments in the field of physics. The field has continually evolved to incorporate advancements in technology and mechanical engineers today are pursuing developments in such fields as composites, mechatronics, and nanotechnology. Mechanical engineering overlaps with aerospace engineering, metallurgical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, manufacturing engineering, chemical engineering, and other engineering disciplines to varying amounts. Mechanical engineers may also work in the field of biomedical engineering, specifically with biomechanics, transport phenomena, biomechatronics, bio-nanotechnology, and modeling of biological systems. History Mechanical engineering finds its application in the archives of various ancient and medieval societies throughout mankind. In ancient Greece, the works of Archimedes deeply influenced mechanics in the Western tradition and Heron of Alexandria created the first steam engine. In China, Zhang Hengnam proved a water clock and invented a seismometer, and Ma Zhum invented a chariot with differential gears. The medieval Chinese horologist and engineer Su Song incorporated an escapement mechanism into his astronomical clock tower two centuries before any escapement can be found in clocks of medieval Europe, as well as the world's first known endless power transmitting chain drive. During the years from 7th to 15th century, the era called the Islamic Golden Age, there were remarkable contributions from Muslim inventors in the field of mechanical technology. Al-Jazari, who was one of them, wrote his famous book of knowledge of ingenious mechanical devices in 1206 and presented many mechanical designs. Important breakthroughs in the foundations of mechanical engineering occurred in England during the 17th century when Sir Isaac Newton both formulated the three Newton's laws of motion and developed calculus, the mathematical basis of physics. Newton was reluctant to publish his methods and laws for years, but he was finally persuaded to do so by his colleagues, such as Sir Edmund Halley. Much to the benefit of all mankind, Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz is also credited with creating calculus during the same time frame. During the early 19th century in England, Germany and Scotland, the development of machine tools led mechanical engineering to develop as a separate field within engineering, providing manufacturing machines in the engines to power them. The first British Professional Society of Mechanical Engineers was formed in 1847 Institution of Mechanical Engineers. Thirty years after the civil engineers formed the first such professional society Institution of Civil Engineers. On the European continent, Johann von Zimmermann founded the first factory for grinding machines in Chemnitz, Germany in 1848. In the United States, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers was formed in 1880, becoming the third such professional engineering society. After the American Society of Civil Engineers and the American Institute of Mining Engineers, 
The first schools in the United States to offer an engineering education were the United States Military Academy in 1817, an institution now known as Norwich University in 1819, and Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in 1825. Education in mechanical engineering has historically been based on a strong foundation in mathematics and science. Education Degrees in mechanical engineering are offered at various universities worldwide. In Brazil, Ireland, Philippines, Pakistan, China, Greece, Turkey, North America, South Asia, Nepal, India, Dominican Republic and the United Kingdom. Mechanical engineering programs typically take four to five years of study and result in a Bachelor of Engineering, Bachelor of Science. Bachelor of Science Engineering, Bachelor of Technology, Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering, or Bachelor of Applied Science degree, in or with emphasis in mechanical engineering. In Spain, Portugal and most of South America, where neither BSc nor BTech programs have been adopted, the formal name for the degree is Mechanical Engineer, and the coursework is based on five or six years of training. In Italy the coursework is based on five years of training, but in order to qualify as an engineer one has to pass a state exam at the end of the course. In Greece, the coursework is based on a five-year curriculum and the requirement of a diploma thesis which upon completion of diploma is awarded rather than a BSc. In Australia, mechanical engineering degrees are awarded as Bachelor of Engineering or similar nomenclature although there are an increasing number of specializations. The degree takes four years of full-time study to achieve, to ensure quality in engineering degrees. Engineers Australia accredits engineering degrees awarded by Australian universities in accordance with the Global Washington Accord. Before the degree can be awarded, the student must complete at least three months of on-the-job work experience in an engineering firm. Similar systems are also present in South Africa and are overseen by the Engineering Council of South Africa. In the United States, most undergraduate mechanical engineering programs are accredited by the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology to ensure similar course requirements and standards among universities. The ABET website lists 302 accredited mechanical engineering programs as of the 11th of March 2014. Mechanical engineering programs in Canada are accredited by the Canadian Engineering Accreditation Board, and most other countries offering engineering degrees have similar accreditation societies. In India, to become an engineer, one need to have an engineering degree like a BTEC or BE or have a diploma in engineering or by completing a course in an engineering trade like fitter from the Industrial Training Institute to receive a ET trade certificate and also have to pass the All India Trade Test with an engineering trade conducted by the National Council of Vocational Training by which one is awarded a national trade certificate. Some mechanical engineers go on to pursue a postgraduate degree such as a Master of Engineering, Master of Technology, Master of Science. Master of Engineering Management, a Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering or an Engineer's Degree. The Master's and Engineer's Degrees may or may not include research. The Doctor of Philosophy includes a significant research component and is often viewed as the entry point to academia. The Engineer's Degree exists at a few institutions at an intermediate level between the Master's Degree and the Doctorate. Coursework standards set by each country's accreditation society are intended to provide uniformity in fundamental subject material, promote competence among graduating engineers, and to maintain confidence in the engineering profession as a whole. Engineering programs in the U.S., for example, are required by a bet to show that their students can work professionally in both thermal and mechanical systems areas. The specific courses required to graduate, however, may differ from program to program. Universities and institutes of technology will often combine multiple subjects into a single class or split a subject into multiple classes. 
depending on the faculty available and the university's major area of research. The fundamental subjects of mechanical engineering usually include mathematics, basic physical sciences, statics and dynamics, strength of materials and solid mechanics, materials engineering, composites, thermodynamics, heat transfer, energy conversion, and HVAC, fuels, combustion, internal combustion engine, fluid mechanics, mechanism and machine design, instrumentation and measurement, manufacturing engineering, technology, or processes, vibration, control theory and control engineering, hydraulics and pneumatics, mechatronics and robotics, engineering design and product design, drafting, computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing. Mechanical engineers are also expected to understand and be able to apply basic concepts from chemistry, physics, chemical engineering, civil engineering, and electrical engineering. All mechanical engineering programs include multiple semesters of mathematical classes including calculus, and advanced mathematical concepts including differential equations, partial differential equations, linear algebra, abstract algebra, and differential geometry, among others. In addition to the core mechanical engineering curriculum, many mechanical engineering programs offer more specialized programs and classes such as control systems, robotics, transport and logistics, cryogenics, fuel technology, automotive engineering, biomechanics, vibration, optics and others. If a separate department does not exist for these subjects, most mechanical engineering programs also require varying amounts of research or community projects to gain practical problem-solving experience. In the United States, it is common for mechanical engineering students to complete one or more internships while studying, though this is not typically mandated by the university. Cooperative education is another option. Future work skills research puts demand on study components that feed students' creativity and innovation. License and regulation engineers may seek license by a state, provincial, or national government. The purpose of this process is to ensure that engineers possess the necessary technical knowledge, real-world experience, and knowledge of the local legal system to practice engineering at a professional level. Once certified, the engineer is given the title of professional engineer, chartered engineer, chartered professional engineer or European engineer, registered engineer or professional engineer in Philippines and Pakistan. In the U.S., to become a licensed professional engineer, an engineer must pass the comprehensive FE exam. Work a minimum of four years as an engineering intern or engineer in training, and pass the Principles and Practice, or PU, exams. The requirements and steps of this process are set forth by the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying, are composed of engineering and land surveying licensing boards representing all U.S. states and territories. In the UK, current graduates require a BENG plus an appropriate master's degree or an integrated MENG degree, a minimum of four years postgraduate on the job competency development, and a peer-reviewed project report in the candidate's specialty area in order to become a chartered mechanical engineer through the Institution of Mechanical Engineers. CENG MIMCHA can also be obtained via an examination route through the City and Guilds of London Institute. In most developed countries, certain engineering tasks, such as the design of bridges, electric power plants, and chemical plants, must be approved by a professional engineer or a chartered engineer. Only a licensed engineer, for instance, may prepare, sign, seal and submit engineering plans and drawings to a public authority for approval, or to seal engineering work for public and private clients. This requirement can be written into state and provincial legislation such as in the Canadian provinces, for example the Ontario or Quebec's Engineer Act. In other countries, such as Australia and the UK, no such legislation exists. 
However, practically all certifying bodies maintain a code of ethics independent of legislation that they expect all members to abide by all risk expulsion, salaries and workforce statistics. The total number of engineers employed in the U.S. in 2009 was roughly 1.6 million. Of these, 239,000 were mechanical engineers, the second largest discipline by size behind civil. The total number of mechanical engineering jobs in 2009 was projected to grow 6% over the next decade, with average starting salaries being $58,800 with a bachelor's degree. The median annual income of mechanical engineers in the U.S. workforce was $80,580. The median income was highest when working for the government, and lowest in education as of 2012. Modern Tools Many mechanical engineering companies, especially those in industrialized nations, have begun to incorporate computer-aided engineering programs into their existing design and analysis processes, including 2D and 3D solid modeling computer-aided design. This method has many benefits, including easier and more exhaustive visualization of products, the ability to create virtual assemblies of parts, and the ease of use in designing mating interfaces and tolerances. Other kite programs commonly used by mechanical engineers include product life cycle management tools and analysis tools used to perform complex simulations. Analysis tools may be used to predict product response to expected loads, including fatigue life and manufacturability. These tools include finite element analysis, computational fluid dynamics, and computer-aided manufacturing. Using CHI programs, a mechanical design team can quickly and cheaply iterate the design process to develop a product that better meets cost performance, and other constraints. No physical prototype need be created until the design nears completion, allowing hundreds or thousands of designs to be evaluated, instead of a relative few. In addition, CHI analysis programs can model complicated physical phenomena which cannot be solved by hand, such as viscoelasticity, complex contact between mating parts, or non-Newtonian flows. As mechanical engineering begins to merge with other disciplines, as seen in mechatronics, multidisciplinary design optimization is being used with other CHI programs to automate and improve the iterative design process. MDO tools wrap around existing CHI processes, allowing product evaluation to continue even after the analyst goes home for the day. They also utilize sophisticated optimization algorithms to more intelligently explore possible designs, often finding better, innovative solutions to difficult multidisciplinary design problems.